According to police estimates, this week on the first night of Hanukkah, over 600,000 people attended the funeral of one of the great Torah leaders of our generation, Rav Aaron Yehuda Leib Steinman. 600,000 people in the Jewish world. That's around one-tenth of every Jewish Israeli was present at this particular funeral. I think that this is a tremendous testament to the surviving and thriving of Torah, especially post the Shu'a generation. Incredibly, leaders across the, 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 the political world in Israel, from left to right, irreligious and religious, all expressed their condolences and sentiments about the passing of this great leader. I think that the life and legacy of Rav Steinman is deeply connected to the day of his passing, the Chag, the first Nair of Hanukkah, and the festival of lights for our generation. Indeed, Rav Steinman was born in 1913, 104 years ago, before the First World War, and lived through the First and the Second World War, managing to escape in 1945, arriving in Switzerland from Russia, surviving the war in Switzerland, and moving to Israel in 1945. He would grow into a great Rosh Hashiva, a Posek, a codifier, an author, and of course, a spiritual giant, a leader of what is known as the Haredi Lithuanian community, who was succeeded Rav Yashiv five years ago as the main uh, rabbinic spiritual leader of this particular community. Over and above his great Torah scholarship, he was also one of those who supported what's known as the Nachal Haredi, Netzach Yehuda, integrating uh, people from this particular community into the army and also into the workforce highly controversial in what's known as the Haredi world, but bold in being able to see the need to integrate those who are appropriate into broader society, contributing both to themselves and to the state of Israel. What touched so many people deeply was the publicizing of his tzavah, his spiritual will in the recent days. He writes that let alone 600,000 people, he said, if only 10 people attend his funeral, that is all that is necessary halachically. He asked not to be eulogized, not for um, articles to be written about him, not for children's names to be named after him, to simply allow him to, so to speak, move on to the next world without the, um, you know, the regular pomp and ceremony that is often done for those, uh, for those who, who pass on. A simple, pashut, yet deeply inspired, passionate Torah leader of our generation. The story of Rav Steinman is very much the story of Hanukkah, timelessly and for our generation. After all, says the Maharal of Prague, why is it that the Neirot of Hanukkah, the flames of Hanukkah, the candles of Hanukkah, are the focus of the Chag? At the end of the day, when you look at the facts, the most impressive miracle and most necessary miracle by far for the survival of the Jewish people was the rebellion against the, uh, against the, the Greeks. Without that rebellion, without fighting, and, uh, and as we say in al Nisim prayer, that's what it's all about, Rabim biyad ma'atim, etc. Rashaim biyad sadikim, without the small band of people, one family, uh, um, uh, standing up against the Greeks, there would, God forbid, perhaps be no uh, Judaism left today. At the end of the day, it was the miracle of the military defeat against one of the strongest armies in the world. That's what we say halal about. That's what we say in al Nisim. How is it that the symbol though of Hanukkah is the Neirot, is the flames, is the fire? The Maharal of Prague explains in Nehra Mitzvah, in one of his two answers, he says as follows. He says, you see, indeed the miracle uh, of the war was the greater miracle. However, it was the Neis Pach Hashem, it was that pitcher of oil that we light for eight days, that lasted for eight days, that we light for eight days, that represents the essence of the miracle. After all, the Greeks were not here to destroy us physically. It's not like in Purim. They were not here to kill the Jews. They were here to diminish and extinguish the values of the Jews. As we say, we speak about about the fact that the Torah is at the heart of everything that Jewish identity is all about. It is that that they wish to extinguish. The Shabbat and Rosh Chodesh, the festivals, uh, Brit Milah, and everything related to our distinct, our distinct Jewish uh, traditions. That's what they wanted to uproot. And that's where Hashem helped us, and that's where we succeeded. Somehow, through Yudah Maccabee and the entire rebellion, what happened was the Jewish people and Judaism were, were able to survive, and that flame of Jewish identity and Torah, which is what continues to be emblazoned at the core of our identity today. This, I say in conclusion, is the great miracle of Israel, the state of Israel in our generation. The state of Israel has rebuilt the body of the Jewish people, the physical body, giving it its national collective 
physical framework and the rebuilding of the Torah world that Rav Steinman and so many others have been involved in in Israel and around the world is rebuilding its soul. May we merit for the body and soul to be invigorated together for the body of Israel in its 70 year, year and all the Jewish people to be as healthy as possible, but always to be infused, infused and illuminated by the spirit, by the soul, by the Torah, which ultimately is at the core of what Jewish identity and destiny is all about. Shabbat Shalom, Hanukkah Sameach.